What's up everyone, Michael Heath with Get Automating. And you know what? Sometimes our videos don't go as planned. I just got an announcement that a movie called Dear Santa has been released with Jack Black. Boy accidentally writes his Christmas wish list to Satan instead of Santa. Common misspell. Just I haven't watched it yet, but this will be going down this week. Get on, matey. Enhancing humans daily. All right, so thinking about Dear Santa, tis the season, I want to explore how we could create an Elphagram automation within Power Automate using Prompt Builder. Let's take a look. All right, kick it on over here. We're going to start it out. AI Hub. We're going to go into Prompts. We're going to build out this Elphagram using Create Text with GPT using a prompt. To get started, we're going to give it some instructions. So if you're an elf named, we're going to ask for input. And you'll see how this works as we progress through the automation. Give it some sample data so that we can test our prompt. Writing a letter to a colleague named. This is going to be your recipient. And we're writing to Karen. We'll praise them for their good deeds. Good deeds. And we'll give a shout out for the big man watching. He's going to be checking that list. Give it some more context. If there's a particular item this person enjoys, all right, and lastly, we'll mention that we're very sure that their items will be fulfilled because of these good deeds and they won't go unnoticed. They'll stay on the nice list. We want to wish them and their family a very merry holiday and we want to include some emojis. So let's see what this looks like. Dear Karen, I hope this letter finds you in great spirits. Express your gratitude. Big man's watching definitely sees all the good deeds. Sure, your love for Starbucks will be fulfilled. Also, wishing your family a very merry holiday filled with joy and laughter. Warm regards. I like the emojis. We could change it a little bit here if we wanted to. Sign with sender's name. Let's give it a title right here. Save it out. Off we go. Now we're going to head over to Power Automate. And we've got to build out a flow here. So we're going to start with a instant cloud flow. It'll be manual. All right, give it a title. The first thing we want to do is get some input. So we're going to add some input here. We need our email. We need our good deeds. And we need our enjoyment. We're also going to grab some additional information. We're going to get my profile. User profile is going to be used for the recipient. So we're going to come down here. We're going to find the input for email address, the one we requested right up here. Moving right along, we need our AI builder. We're going to use create text with GPT because that is the prompt that we created. We're going to grab our alphagram prompt, and it's going to ask us to map out what we're requesting. Good deeds. I'm going to come right down here, get our good deeds. Name of a recipient, that's going to be get user profile. We're going to get that UPN right there, user principal name, items of enjoyment. Again, this is the requested info and the sender's name. We're going to get this from get user profile, and that would be the given name. All right, and lastly, we need to create an email here. All right, so two is going to be the get user profile, and that will be that UPN, an Elfgram from given name, individual sending, and then the body is going to be the text generated from GPT. Now let's go ahead and save that out. Oh, I'll just send it to myself. Thanks for your help creating an Elfgram automation, enjoyment, pinball machines. Go ahead and run that flow. So if we come over here to Outlook, we're going to see, eh, it sent the email, but it kind of looks like trash. Well, we can fix that. All right, and we're going to head back to our Alphagram prompt, and we're going to make a small edit down at the bottom. We're going to give it additional instructions here. And we're just going to say output in HTML. We're going to test that and see what it comes back with. Now, if we're viewing it, we could see that it has some weird characters in here. It has a leading HTML with apostrophes as well as some trailing. So we're going to just fix that in our prompt. We could just tell it to remove the leading HTML and trailing uh, characters that we don't want. Let's try that again and see what happened. All right, so we've got a cleaned up body HTML here. Let's save that and test that out. All right, so back at our Elphagram flow again, we can just automatically retry. So let's test that out and have it fire it off. This time it's going to be using the modified prompt that we built. Let's check out that email. All right, so here's the new email. Pretty darn cool, right? And it can't get any easier than this. We've created a prompt, used it in workflow. 
and it looks pretty darn good. Prompt Builder, making the alphagram so easy, making your life so easy. Get out there, get automating.